Okay, boys and girls, before the weekend starts, we got a hell of a mess to clean up. <laughs> oh my god. Um, while I'm editing some videos, um, as you can see, I've got a little bit of collection of wood. Um, I grabbed from work to use for a bonfire tonight when we go back to Golden Ear... Golden Arm... <laughs> no, Golden Ears. Uh, yeah, Golden Ears, that's it. Uh, I'm so bad. Uh, two hours of sleep. Maybe two and a half if I'm lucky. But you know what? We got rid of the red vert. That's all that matters. I can nap some when I finish editing and cleaning up. And I'm going to have to test fire the heater because Korean girl likes it hot. And yeah, she's not too happy with no heat in the van. So we got to solve that problem in a bit. Okay, boys and girls, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, kabam! That looks pretty freaking ugly. I made a mess. Um, yeah, we gotta clean this wood up. We're gonna store it in the back for the campfire tomorrow. So, that's the first plan of attack. Second plan, put the heater in. Our test it out and try and get it semi fit just to see if it works and then plan where to semi put it or make it on a movable cart type of thing so anyways okay so that's the one of the back storage units um, whoever built this had idiot written all over his forehead um, number one it's got a fold out cupboard but you can't how do you fold it out because that's over top no lock and look at you can't lift this up because it's freaking, it's got a lip on it. So how in the hell do you do that? So whoever built this is, yeah. Um, I should change this around. I don't have a lot of time to do it today. So maybe tomorrow when I'm camping, but for now we're gonna flip it down, cut the wood to that size and store it until tomorrow. Okay, good day boys and girls. Um, what we got going on today? We're gonna show you the new heater that I got. I get it is new, but it isn't new. Um, basically, I bought this secondhand, never used, off of uh, about a month ago, off of a girl who had bought it for an Airstream trailer. Um, this unit is pretty large, uh, as you can tell. That's my hand, and da 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 da. Um, it's probably. Uh, two-thirds the size of uh, a Mr. Buddy heater. Sorry, sidetrack because I hear my phone going off. Um, but yeah, it's two-thirds the size, bigger than a Mr. Buddy heater, and I'm not sure how it works. Um, they say this keeps cool when it's running, and it has a little glass plate in the back actually in there that you can see. Basically, uh, I paid 130 for this. I see online you can buy them for 139 ish 140 bucks on eBay and that and that's Canadian prices not American prices blah 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 um, it's a Procom and Procom actually makes two versions of these heaters uh, da, 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 da. this is a non thermostat setted one so basically it has a low and a high on low I think it's 5500 BTU and on high it's 10,000 and it's yeah typical uh, igniter you press it da -da. the thermostat control ones um, are two something just over 200 bucks and if this one works good enough um, I'm considering maybe selling this for another for what I paid for it or maybe a hundred bucks and then I will repurchase a thermostat one if it works good so um, basically I'm just trying this out and once I start it I'm gonna barbecue some of these uh, uh, pierogies on it yeah I'm just gonna put it over the fire not I'm just kidding that's lunch anyways um, I'm not gonna do it now it's uh, hot enough we'll do it a bit later so anyways cheers Okay, I don't know how good this comes in. I'm using my small light um, to do things. I don't have the big one out. Anyways, we set the heater up here on the counter and we hooked up the hose and what I did was um, 
uh, get rid of my laundry and clothes. I put it in uh, the bathroom, the tank, so I can, got a little vent, I can um, open it and get air in if I need it. So I tried to close it off for now. So like I say, this is just a trial to see how it works tonight, to see what it pumps out. And um, it won't stay permanently mounted. It will go in that bottom cupboard and in that outside drawer you've seen. So I don't know if I can tape and do this at the same time. I'm not sure. Anyways, here goes nothing. Mm, I don't know if this will do it or not. Let's see if I can blow up the van. Okay, what you're... Oh! <gasps> I didn't... Shit! Okay, so... This is supposed to go down and press it to let the air out. Oh, I hear noise. Yeah, I hear something. Okay, voila, voila. Um, I think that's it. Um, that is low setting. And wow, it throws off a lot of heat on low. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be the pattern though. Um, that. Uh, so, anyways, that is that. And the carbon monoxide detector I put maybe too close, I'm not sure. So. Um, So, so, what does the carbon monoxide show? Um, zero. So, so far so good. Huh. Anyways, yeah, we got a heater. Hopefully, won't freeze my ass off now. And Korean girl should be happy. <laughs> okay, um, this baby throws off a pretty nice toasty warm heat. I gotta admit, I like it. Um, the only thing I think we could use is a light fan to circulate some of the heat because technically it's just coming and rising up here and I should probably lower it on the floor so the floor gets a little coo uh, warmer too. Um, so yeah, most of the heat's directed like I say. Obviously makes sense right here. So if I had a little fan pointing down blowing it and uh yeah so a couple adjustments but you know what it works um looks looks good it's throwing and a happy friday to you all there in youtube um yes uh looking forward to the weekend i'm supposed to pick up korean girl this morning and head out to golden ears park we're gonna spend uh probably two nights out there oh, just to get away and relax so yeah we got that on the agenda and I got a heater in so she won't freeze her little tushy off at night <laughs> and you know what I'm not gonna freeze my ass off this winter oh I'm not going through another winter without heat so yeah the last year was uh, tough uh, yeah the minus eight days that was that was a little cool so but anyways, yeah, we'll end this video here, and uh, like I say, come back. We'll be in Golden Ears tomorrow, and uh, who knows what the next following week will bring. Weather's supposed to be warm, so the plan is to continue trying to travel around Vancouver area and uh, check out sites here. But anyways, we'll end this now and say, you know what? Thanks for watching, as always, and remember, guys, stay awesome. So, cheers.